let's go and take a look at this example. Um, again, guys, if we in this example, we're just going to find the unit vector. All right. So basically, again, a unit vector, remember, has a magnitude of 1. So the quick thing is, hopefully you guys already recognize that this does not have a magnitude of 1. But if we wanted to find the magnitude of w, we could think of this in its component form. Right? But again, guys, like it doesn't matter. I mean, you can leave it in this in the terms of i and j. So to find the magnitude, you're just going to take the square root of the sum of the square of the first component and plus the square of the second component, which 2 squared is 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. So therefore, I get a magnitude of 20. Right? So the unit vector, again, guys, is simply just this vector, w, divided by its magnitude. Right? Because if you think about it, if you divide your magnitude, or if you divide the length by 20, you're going to now have a magnitude of 1. Right? If you take the square root of 20 and divide it by square root of 20, you get 1, which is what we're looking for. So there's a couple different ways. You know, Obviously, we could write this. Um, you can obviously just take. Um, typically, in this case, 2i minus 4j divided by square root of 20. It'd best to kind of like distribute that. So therefore, 2 over the square root of 20i minus um, 4 over the square root of 20j. That'd be the preferred um, way to write that problem, I'd say. Okay? You could factor it out and make it as a scalar. But that's basically all we're looking for in that case. Okay?